In this video, we're going to look at a problem involving interest rates and percentages, and we're going to model that problem with a linear system, and then we're going to solve that problem with, by solving the system with substitution. Okay, so here we have a uh, problem involving investing money. Um, Jared invested $400 a year ago, and he put it in two different places. He put some of it in an account earning 4% interest annually, and he put the rest of it in another account which earned 5% interest. Um, altogether for the year, he earned a total of $18.50 in interest. So the question is, how much did he invest in each account? So what we're going to do here is we'll define some variables, and then we'll model this situation with a linear system, and then we'll solve the linear system with substitution. Okay, so the first thing we need to decide is what the variables are going to represent. Um, a common thing that people try but that doesn't work very well is to say that one of the variables will represent how much the first um, the first account earned in interest and the other one will represent how much the second account earned but that's not very useful because we know how much the first account earned that was four percent and five percent was the other um, so a better tact is uh, to let one variable represent how much was invested in the first account and then the other one will represent how much was invested in the second account. So let's write this down. Let x represent the amount invested at 4%. That's something we say was interest. It's invested at 4%. Um, so make sure you say let x represent and then instead of just say, don't say let x represent 4%, say like what we're talking about, we're talking about the amount of money that's invested at 4%. And let y represent the amount invested at 5%. Now, what do we know about these two amounts? Well, we know that altogether it's $400. Um, so our first, let's see, just get another pen here. The first equation can say that altogether it's $400. So x plus y equals 400. And that can be equation one. The second equation uh, is a little bit more complicated. We need to write that 4% of the x plus 5% of y is equal to a total of 1850. Um, so two things you need to remember. First of all, that to change 4% to a decimal value, we always need decimal values if we're calculating, if we're doing calculations with percent, we won't leave it as a percent. So to change it to a decimal, you divide by 100. And then the second thing to remember is that of means times. So 4% of x is going to be 4% times x. So 4 divided by 100 is 0 0.04. So four, that's 4% 4 of x is 0.04x. So that's how much interest you earn in the first account. And then we'll do the same thing for the second account. So it'll be 0 0.05, because it's earning 5% interest, times y, because we've uh, invested y at 5%. So this is an expression for how much interest he earned, and that should equal the total of $18.50. And that is equation two. Okay, so now we've got a linear system, and now we're going to solve it. Um, so we'll look, we're, we're going to isolate a variable in one of the equations, and then substitute it into the other. A good variable to isolate again is any variable that has a coefficient of one, so the variables in the second equation, we could isolate them, they're just more of a nuisance. Uh, but we will, it's a better choice to choose the first equation. So, isolate, and either of the variables is equally good. So let's isolate x in equation 1. So we have x plus y equals 400. And now to isolate x, I'll subtract y from both sides. So I have x equals 400, take away y. 
All right, we're going to use this, so we'll give it a name. But it's basically equation one. We've just rearranged equation one, so we'll call it one prime. So I've got my variable isolated. Now I want to substitute it in. And I, if I substitute it back into one, I'm not going to get anything useful. I'll get something like uh, 400 equals 400, which doesn't tell us anything. But if I substitute it into two, then I'll be able to solve. So I'm going to substitute. 1 prime into the other equation, so into 2. So what we had, equation 2 is 0.04x plus 0.05y equals 18.5. And so now I'll replace my x with 400 minus y. So 0 0.04 times 400 minus y plus 0 0.05y equals 18.5. Okay, good. Now I'm just going to kind of carefully simplify this. 0 0.04 times 400 is 16 minus 0.04y plus 0.05y equals 18.5. And we'll have 16 minus this will be 0.01y is equal to 18.5. And then maybe on the same line I'll subtract 16 from both sides. Oh, sorry, this one should have been positive. Because it's negative 0.04y plus 0.05y, so it should be plus 0.01y. So I have 0 0.04y plus 0.05y equals 2.5. And I'll divide by 0 0.01. continue up here, so what I get is y equals 250. So if this is right, that means that Garrett invested $250 in the bank account earning 5% uh, interest. So this is a useful equation, so I'll give this a name and number. It's a combination of 1 and 2, so I won't call it either of those. I'll just call that equation 3. Okay, now we'll substitute 3 into one of the first ones. Um, it's probably easier to put it in equation 1. So we have x plus y equals 400, and now it's x plus 250. So if I subtract 250 from each side, I get x equals 150. Okay, so we have a solution. We'll have to check it still. But so Jared invested $150. Four percent interest, because that was x was one hundred and fifty, and that was how much at four percent, and two hundred and fifty dollars at five percent interest. Now over here, let's just do a little check. Um, if you wrote equations from a scenario. It's a good idea to check your answers back in the original scenario, not in the equations, just in case you made a mistake in the equations. So, check. Let's just look at the 
the information here, total amount of $400. And we're saying here it's 150 plus 250. And that is $400, so that's good. And then interest. Um, if these are the amounts he invested, then he would have earned $150 times 4% plus $250 times 5%. So remember to get those 0 0.04 and 0 0.05. You just divide 4 and 5 by 100. All right, now I'll check this in my calculator. A bit of glare on there. Okay, 150 times 0.04. Six dollars from that account, and then two fifty times point oh five is twelve fifty. So altogether, that's eighteen dollars and fifty cents. So that's perfect. Okay, good luck with it.